It is ridiculous o'clock in the morning. I'm just defrosting the car and I am heading over to Gisborough. So I'm gonna check out my first Hardmores race. Don't know why I thought December was a good idea, but let's go run Rosebury Topping Marathon. The 30 miler, it's hilly. I'm hoping it'll be clear enough to see the sea, but let's get on the way. I've been driving for an hour and a half and it's still dark, but I'm here. I've got the last space in the car park, so I'm so thankful for that, but race starts in half an hour. Let's get to registration. Because I've not done one of the Hardmores races before, I'm so pleased that there's runners to follow because I don't know where I'm going. Um, all that traffic light's making me all red. Um, but we're going up to the Scout Hut for registration and then setting off, but it's very icy. It's minus two, it's not due to get above freezing today, so it's going to be an interesting one. Definitely going to have poles with me, maybe just one pole actually. Otherwise I'm not sure I can cope with the navigation and uh, filming, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm desperate for wee. After being for wee and got my number, I think I'll be excited. <laughs> lots of water, lots of coke. Hard Moors race series, right. Let's head in here. I've got my race number, they're just doing a few announcements and presentations, so I'll get um, numbered up, get sorted, and then uh, race briefing. Set up on the car park, then, we, then you run down the road, you get to the road, and you turn left, then you run up the hill. Okay, so, have a good time. Let's go. Oh my goodness, it's going to be cold. Everyone's got their jackets on, I don't know whether to put my jacket on. Let's see, we've got like four minutes. There's a lot of us. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Punk Panther crowd. Oh, I think this is us. I think we're about to go. Actually, beep, there we go. I've started my Garmin. Three, two, one, go. Julian's here in his <laughs> medic car. I saw him yesterday because um, there was a Punk Panther award ceremony. And they gave me an award. I'll put a picture of it here. So um, that's a bit sweet for being silly enough to do a park run in my first 100 miler. <laughs> anyway, right, we've set off. So what are we doing? We're doing the Hardmore's Rosebury Topping Marathon. It's 30 miles and it's pretty hilly early on. So although we're all cold now, I'm pretty sure we're going to heat up fairly quickly. First hill and it's icy. So uh, there's a few runners, but most of us obey in the first rule of ultra running. Walk the hills. <laughs> this is slippy though. <laughs> um, yeah. Pretty icy. Uh, that's not filling me with confidence. This much ice in the first mile. <laughs> oh, we're going up into the fog. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I like a good wait for a style, oh, especially on a hill. <laughs> Take <your> time. <laughs> We're just going up a little hill, which is massive. I only looked at the route description a couple of days ago, and I thought we did rosebush topping at the end. We do it at the start twice. Uh, so just heading up here now, but I am hot, sweating already. But um, there's loads of people, there's loads of women. Hooray for female ultra runners. Um, and you can just see people streaming up this hill. And then, what's down there? Coming up the hill behind us. So we've just come out there, but look at this. Oh, it is lovely here. Don't know where we are. <laughs> this little rosebury, is this rosebury topping? I don't know. <sighs> it's what, sorry? I could have now. Thank you. There we go, the marshals know where we are, which is just as well. <laughs> wow, it's wintry. Right, I might have to put my camera away because it is a bit slippy. What is the number one aim for today? Not to fall over. Right. Put 
this camera away. Anything the views from the tops are going to be very good. Um, it's so foggy and misty. A lot of this is sheet ice. Uh, so we're all just walking on the edge. <laughs> Which when it's uphill is fine. But um, it's not going to be a fast one today. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful though. It's really, really lovely to be out here. I've not seen any snow this year or anything. So it's like my first properly wintry run. I've done my first cross country of the season. And I was going to film that, but it was such a warm day. Felt like a fraud. <laughs> Whoa, look at this ice. We're only like four miles in and my whole face is wet with sort of frozen dew. It's really strange. Don't know if you'll see it. Like, I'm just wet. <laughs> it's really weird. I'm a bit sad because we're not going to be able to see the sea. The sun sort of is trying, you can see like this eerie glow, but this is not going to lift in time. So we're about to head up Rosebury Topping, um, drop off the other side to the first checkpoint, back up and then that's my last chance, I think, to see the sea properly because there's normally a beautiful view from there. So, oh, I wanted to see the sea. <laughs> but this is magical. It's winter wonderland. Right, we're heading that way, but we've just come down there. And that was really hard. Everyone's falling over all over the place. I don't want to film too much because I want to stick with my little group. <laughs> The um, frost keeps freezing in my hair and then dribbling down my forehead, which I'm not enjoying. There's like this cold, <laughs> cold, horrible drips on my head. Yeah. Right, we're about to go up Rosebury Top in just this dip, and then we'll head up. Just at the top of Rosebury Topping, there's an elf here. Hello, Elf. You having a good time? Onwards to Santa, you Onwards say. Onwards to Santa. <laughs> well, there is Santa. I see him. <sighs> Some people have got spikes on. I'm sort of regretting not having spikes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come up with me, stay in Hello Santa. What, so do we go down here? Yes. Jesus. Yes. What is that? Backside, okay. And everyone employing it. Right, turn around guys, go for Oh my goodness me, right, the camera is going away. Things you never thought Santa would say to you, like, ho, ho. <laughs> well, I expect that. It's to get on your butt and slide down the hill. <laughs> right, this is hilarious. This is not running. Everyone's on their butts, sliding down the hill. All you can hear is like, ah, ah. <laughs> um, so the strategy is just get as low as possible because you can't fall over if you're already on the floor. So I'm like crawling down this hill. Oh, just stood up. Oh, I did a few steps. Oh, um, I don't know if you can see the top. Just treacherous, absolutely treacherous. We are like, we paid to do this, this is fun. Actually, to be fair, you don't normally do things like this as an adult, so it is quite fun. Right, wish me luck. We've got to come back up here as well. Famous last words. <laughs> well done, guys. Here we go. Oh, is that the checkpoint there? I think I can see a chair. Hooray, well done. Everyone's hair is frozen. It's amazing. <sighs> Crashing a photo. I can just see Jake comes hanging above my friend. Yeah, they're amazing sort of lost the will a bit on this. <laughs> it's uh, too much time on my bump. My legs have been fully engaged and tense for that entire climb down, um, which is, is not enjoyable. Uh, I'm looking forward to this checkpoint. I've not been eating and drinking enough. It's really hard when it's cold. Oh, I've got a Christmas pudding. I didn't say, I've got a Christmas pudding top on. It's Christmas. Right, here we are, alive at a checkpoint. That is, uh, you know, oh, Jaffa cakes. Mm. I will have some Jaffa cakes. I'm just getting some Coke. 
I'm eating Jaffa cakes. Is that enough? That's amazing, thank you. There you are. And back up the steps, well done. Well done. Up we go. I'm so not looking forward to this. <laughs> back up to Santa. It's really, really difficult. You need some micro spikes or something. I wonder if you can see that my hair is frozen. Uh, it feels really weird in my eyelashes. Yeah, anyway, have some coke on the way up. Once Rosebury Shopping's done for the second time, then I'm sure we'll feel a bit better, a bit more confident when we can stand up without thinking we're going to fall over. The prize for the biggest lie told today is that sign. <laughs> We've only done five miles on our way back up. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. My goodness. Well done, guys. Well done. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Loving life. <sighs> Cut the light up there. Come on, sun. Come out. The cloud is clearing. Oh, look at that. So we're on our way back up. And, um, oh my goodness. Actually, so we're going up there. Look at this. Oh, look at this. We're going to be above the clouds. The moon's still out over there, actually. Oh, it's a bit of a brutal climb. This bit is so dangerous that Santa is telling you your exact foot placement. It's just lethal. And then pulling you up, yeah. So, oh my goodness, thank you for that. And <laughs> trick point! Ah, and the sun, oh my god, it's so beautiful, I might cry. Oh, it's lovely up here. I think we're going back that way, but are we not going to touch the trick point? Let's go and touch it. Let's go and take a picture. I'm going to the trig. Everyone else is not, but um, I think we want to. These guys are on the half. Oh. Yay! Oh, look at the art. That's actually super lovely. Oh. Okay, that side. Oh, on top of the world. Look at that. Whoa, he nearly went then. Okay, I'll be careful. It's beautiful. Rosebury topping, right? We don't want to go back up that. <laughs> Thank you, Marshall. Let's go off into the mist. Oh, it's nice to run again. So good to be off the unrunnable surfaces. Oh my goodness, my whole body for like the last hour was just intense. See all the half marathon runners on their way up now. Oh, I just hope everyone's okay. I've seen so many people fall over. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> but still going, haven't fallen over yet. Another climb ahead. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful up here. I want to do loads of photography. Like, look at this. It's just beautiful, but I am meant to be running. <laughs> oh, wow. I hadn't even noticed that. It's quite eerie, the peering out of the mist. It's really beautiful go on stop you know you want to <laughs> well we do because it's a checkpoint I'm definitely all over the coke hello thank you thank you so much leaving the checkpoint and got some coke oh. which is not flat and is exploding from my bottle and uh, some duck cakes I'm actually really hungry I'm not fueling enough it's so hard when it's below freezing to remember to eat I'm not hungry we're just going up a never-ending hill and um, just eating a square of fudge. It was frozen. It was really hard work. <laughs> Delicious. I'm just really having to remind myself to eat and drink. You're very jingly. <laughs> oh, crampons. Good idea. Actually, lots of people were wearing spikes on Rosebury which is uh, very wise. 
we cannot see where we are going at all. No views, <laughs> just into the fog. A checkpoint in the middle of nowhere, like on the surface of the moon or something. <laughs> Here we are. Right, let's get some fuel. I was not expecting that checkpoint to be there, but chatting to them, one of the checkpoints has moved. So that came quite quickly, but now there's 10 or 11 miles, they said, till the next one. So I ate a mini roll, but I've got a bag of peanuts because that's at least a couple of hours in these conditions. <laughs> it's literally like the moon. Uh, Arctic wastelands of the north. <laughs> Apparently the views are normally spectacular, but look at this. Just no <laughs> visibility. Hopefully you can see the runners in front, but yeah, just plodding up another hill. I feel like a lot of this has been uphill. <laughs> I feel like we're on some expedition at the poles or something. <laughs> really beautiful though with the sun silhouetting the runners wonder if this will burn off at any point and the fog will lift this climb has been going on for so long we are rising above it all look at the sun it's amazing <laughs> walking in snow in pure sunshine and blue sky look at that <laughs> oh what a day Just, wow. <laughs> We're above the cloud now and you can just see the tops peeking out. My goodness, the cloud formations over there. Oh. <sighs> just feeling so lucky. What a day. Cannot believe it. Right, I should, uh, get moving it's obviously still very very cold but <laughs> oh so lucky this is why we do it look, look at that can't see I need sunglasses really my hair is still completely frozen um, I'll put my gloves down my top to stay warm just while I do a tiny bit of filming maybe eat some peanuts <sighs> I'm just so happy right now on Rosebury Topping, I was really questioning my life choices because it was rubbish. Your whole body was tense for so long, everyone was falling over. But yeah, just the difference to be able to run up here uh, when I'm not filming. <laughs> so yeah, camera away and I'm just going to enjoy this. Just wow. It is spectacular. At the top of the hill, and um, oh, I'm on a really icy back. Maybe I'll just stop and film. So, at the top of the hill, you can see runners coming up that path there, and there's a full cloud inversion. Oh my goodness, the color blue, and all the hills, and the snow, and the ice, and the sunshine. <laughs> oh, it really is spectacular but it is now very icy and very runnable, so I think it's time to put the camera away. Because I don't want to fall over. <sighs> what a day. <sighs> Nowhere else I'd rather be right now. This is it. Well, there's another pretty bad bit here. We've come out of the sun. You're really having to scramble down there on your bum. Um, but look, there's a, quite a long line of runners there. Can't see anyone ahead though. Marshall just said there's a Christmas tree marking our way. I can see it. Oh, I see what they mean. It's not an obvious path. An, not an obvious path. So, not that one. Oh gosh. First bit is sort of really wet. And Christmas tree. Well, come on guys, where's your ball balls and stuff? <laughs> One bit of Hardmore's gold tape, I'll take it. Merry Christmas. So the marshal said this next two miles is pretty bad. So I might just take my time on this, I don't want to be falling. It has been treacherous in parts. 
Um, but we've done some lovely running and the sunshine, that bit above the clouds. We keep them going all day. So I know this isn't amazing for the uh, countryside code, but I cannot go on that. It's sheet ice. It is uh, just so slippy. Self-preservation mode. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad condition. I've got about nine miles to go and I haven't really navigated any of this race. It's not marked. There's just been enough people around, but all of a sudden the massive group that we were in have all sort of dropped off. Um, so not bad to only have to start navigating with nine miles to go. Pretty pleased with that. But navigating that last section, I really enjoyed. I forgot. I like navigating, but I was just a bit worried my hands would be cold. But they're coping. It's actually been a really lovely day. It could be worse, you could be running an ultra. Oh, actually you are. <laughs> You're not even halfway around yet, we better be. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay upright. I saw that you'd posted actually, so I was looking forward to seeing you. Ah, oh, hello. Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Ooh. Oh, better, better if it flattens out. Yeah, sorry. Ooh. Caution slow joggers. That is the cheekiest sign. Look at that. Caution slow jogger. That is hilarious. Run route. Yeah, this bit is totally flat. Maybe we should jog in. Oh. Hello. Yay. No, then. I thought we'd had our last checkpoint. It's not 20 miles. They're uh, winding us up. <laughs> Hello. Oh. I thought we'd had our last checkpoint. This is a nice surprise. Hello. I don't know if I actually need anything, but oh. maybe I will. I'm going in. I'm going in. Thank you. Well, that was a bonus. We've got five miles to go. <clears throat> Oh, I'm just choking on a peanut. <laughs> I've dry most of peanuts. I've just had a Jaffa cake and some peanuts. And filled up my Coke. So, uh, I'll have loads of energy at the finish. So, yeah, five miles to go. Did not think there was another checkpoint. Absolute bonus. The snow's sort of gone now. It's icy, but I'm just loving all of the frost on all of the plants. Whoa, this looks so icy. <laughs> Gosh. I'm not sure how we do this bit. With great care. That's how. Just a park run to go. Very poor visibility. Lots of ice. But uh, pretty magical. We can't, we can't even see. And we're starting to lose the light now. So I'm just pleased that we'll get back before it gets dark. Don't really want to get my head torch out. I don't need to, so that's good. But yeah, visibility has dropped. I was thinking I'd do this race in about six hours. <sighs> now that it's gone seven and a half hours, then uh, it's not a very realistic estimate. <laughs> it is getting pretty dark now, but it's got very, very, very cold. My eyelashes keep freezing and uh, I'm not enjoying that. <laughs> Just coming to the end of the trail. I am. Um, is it scout or cubs? I've forgotten where we're going. Cubs? Uh, <laughs> They're the same thing. The scout hut is just sort of down, 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 down here and then on the right. It has got very dark and it's still so icy. Um, my water bottle has frozen up. Um, just the nozzle, not the actual water. Um, my eyelashes are still frozen. <laughs> the ground is still frozen. Oh, it looks a bit icy, doesn't it? Um, we're determined not to fall over right at the end of the race. Um, it's going to be eight hours, which is a long day out, but it's been an adventure. This is us, hard more flags. Here we go. Then I think we have to go in. Oh, look, 
medic's car, Julian will be sat in there, toasty and warm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it's so our finish. We're going in here. Yay, hello. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we timed that really well. Oh. Where's our finish line? Where's our finish line? Finish. Oh, look, should I touch it? Ta da! The camera steamed up. We've got a little bonus prize. I actually don't have a cup, so that is yay, thank you. Uh, and here we go. Oh, I'm so steamed up. But, um, we did it. Oh, I should stop my garment now. We've had a hot chocolate. I'm going to have a bit of cake and then I need to get back really because it's dark. It's going to be a long, hard drive home. Um, but I'm warm now that I've got changed. Um, it's so lovely, there have been so many familiar faces here from Hot Panther and yeah, what a day. I have absolutely loved it. It's been brutal conditions, but it was all worth it for that bit above the clouds. Just magical. Still people coming in with head torches now. I've got my spot prize, I've got my t-shirt, I've got my absolutely beautiful medal and um, it's time to head back to the car. I've really loved today. I wore my Ultra Lone Peaks, which was the exact shoe and sock combination that I wore when I fell over twice. So it's nice to know it was not the shoes. Everyone was like, Nicola, was it the shoes? It was not the shoes. Um, and I didn't fall over today. The lady I was running with, she fell over five times. Apparently the average was three. Three falls per person. So I think I did pretty well today to survive that with zero falls. Absolutely loved it. Hard day at the office. Eight hours. A lot longer than I thought it would be. But um, I really, really enjoyed my first hard horse race. I've just been for a 5k run in the rain. I am soaking wet. And it was really hard to get out there. But do you know what helped me? My race t-shirt, I'm in my Hardmore 26.2 trail series. I don't know why it says 26.2. Because the Hardmore marathons are known to be a lot longer. So this was just over 30 miles. But yeah, I love a race t-shirt that gets me out there. The great thing is that these guys have the option for trees for tees. I'd go for that next time. Now that I've done a Hardmore's race, got my Hardmore's t-shirt, been there, run that, got the t-shirt. Next time I'd definitely go for trees for tees. Loved the race though, it was great to run on the Cleveland Way, new trails that I've never run before. Huge thanks to all the marshals that stood out there in freezing fog. They all had pretty cold, dark conditions. It was below freezing all day long. Apart from that one marshal who was up on the top, who had this spectacular view with the cloud inversions and the sunshine. But yeah, the rest of them, cold, dark, thank you so much. I'm not sure if I'll run another Hardmores race. It's a long old day with over three hours of driving, an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back. But highly recommend it for anyone who's a bit more local. Maybe if I'm staying up that way, who knows? Never say never. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video. Give it a like if you have and subscribe for more running adventures. The next running adventure will be, ooh, a parkrun tourism trip to Wales. Now it is December, not the best time for parkrun tourism. Fingers crossed, everything crossed, that the parkrun goes ahead. We are heading to Pontybala parkrun, so I really hope that goes ahead. If it doesn't, then it is cancellation season. I just hope we get to a parkrun. Um, it'll be an adventure either way, so <laughs> subscribe for that, and I will see you on the next running adventure.